money, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's event is sanctioned by the State of Georgia Athletic and Entertainment Commission. The executive director is Matt Woodruff. Your chief inspector, Matt Waller, is seated cage side along with tonight's judges, Monica Ridgway, Will Fisher, and John Marigliano. When the cage door slams, our referees in charge of the B2 cage will be Rob Mooney and Northside Nate Mann. B2 Fighting Series fans, are you ready? This amateur heavyweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, in the B2 Fighting Series cage, making his amateur debut. His height, six feet, two inches. His weight, 237 pounds. He trains with against the grain MMA and boxing and comes to you from right here in Columbus, Georgia. His name is Tyler Wilson. And his opponent, across the cage in the one more gym red corner. His record stands at zero wins and one loss. His height, six feet, two inches. His weight, 244 pounds. He trains with rising Phoenix Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and comes to you from Carrollton, Georgia. This is the mongrel, Tyler Briggs. All right, when the action is underway, Tyler Wilson in the black shorts, Tyler the mongrel Brit in the black and red. Third man in the cage referee, Rob Mooney. So, man, I, Hacker, I'm wanting to see if, if Tyler Wilson's going to try to stand and bang with him. I mean, he's got five years of boxing, but he can't stay on the outside. Taekwondo, black belt, you know he's going to have really good kicks. Nice. He needs to change levels now. Oh. Tyler Britt's piecing him up. Britt landing good shots early on the feet. There he goes. I know what take on. Looking for the single. He needs to snatch it. Oh, Whoa, it what on a him. slam by Tyler Wilson. Beautiful slam, and he said he was going to have to do that. He said if he started getting pieced up, he's going to get it to the ground. That's exactly what he did. It's smart. He's already in mount looking for the arm triangle. Oh, he's in a good spot. Tyler Britt's being stubborn about it. Good job by Tyler Britt. Nice exchange here early in the first fight of our night. Tyler Britt landing good shots on the feet, and Tyler Wilson changing level says, no, I'm done with this stuff on the feet. Right, he's in mount now. It looks, I can't, no, he's not. He's there, good job by Tyler Britt to get that half guard back. Now, of course, Georgia Athletic Commission Novice rules, there's no ground and pound to the head for either of these fighters. Exactly. He's sitting here, he's trying to suffocate him. He's not really doing much or nothing. I mean, look, man, I would try to pass. He needs to try to get that leg out. He needs to use his, his left leg to try to pin down the right leg of Tyler Britt and pass that, and pass that half guard. That's exactly what his corner is yelling right now. Hacker, get your leg out because he's, he's stuck here. He's not doing anything here. And it really sucks, to be honest with you, man. I wish some of these uh, athletic commission, I'm not saying Georgia's a great athletic commission, but I'm saying I wish they would get with the program and allow ground and pound and no shin guards with these amateur fighters. Yeah, it really hinders your your state, really, your athletic yeah. commission, if you have this rule set. You see right there the first and second strike on the ground for Tyler Wilson landing a couple right hands to the body. But, I mean, this is uh, – it's – Nobody's fault, N neither of these fighters' fault that they can't hit in the head. So it is what it is. They got to get their amateur career started some way. Right, exactly. And a lot of times it happens, and what happens is there's stagnant fights, man. Right. They just lay on the ground, they suff suffocate each other, and yeah. and they're doing just enough for Rob Mooney not to stand them up. Because I guarantee you, if there's Tyler no Wilson's action, in a, a north he is north south. He, he needs to get lower on the north south. He's too high on the north south choke. He needs to get lower. He needs to get lower to the mat to really make this effective. Now he's starting to climb up job. there, turns around, takes the back, kind of. Well, I mean, look, Tyler Britt, man, he, he's being stubborn. He's not really giving him much. He's got out of a few different uh, scenarios already. Looks like he's going for a key lock here, Kimura. No, he's out. Good job. He likes that north-south position. The oh, there it is. We'll see if he's able to break the grip of Tyler Britt. Oh, there's... Tyler Britt's doing the right thing. He's using his body. That's tight. No, that's getting deep. Tyler Wilson's is he going to be saved by the bell? Tyler Wilson's, 
Right, he's preventing him with his right knee, which is smart. He cannot get the elbow out go, 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 and, go, go. and court that shoulder. Wow. Great job by Tyler Britt, right? Absolutely. Very good job. Very stubborn. He's ready to go. He's sticking his tongue out. He's like, man, stand and bang with me, baby. Why are you taking me down? <laughs> Tyler Wilson did get a big takedown there in the first round. We'll, we will see on the replay here soon. Just one of the worst slams I can remember seeing in the B2 fighting series. He got pieced up. This, this right here, man, this is just pure strength on the high crotch. Single. Shade to Daniel Cormier. And he got the wokey doke on him. The wokey doke. That's a new one. <laughs> and we're going to see if I'm Tyler Britt, I'm going, hey, man, I got to stay on the feet by any means in this second round. He does, man. Look, he needs, a, he needs a use angle, stay on the outside. He was doing really good. Like I said, he was piecing Tyler Wilson up. Tyler Wilson, I guarantee you he didn't like that. He's going to shoot right in. We're going to see the same scenario going into the second round. If Tyler Wilson's smart, if he's going to fight a smart fight, I don't think he needs to sit here and bang with Tyler Britt. Agreed. Both fighters up off the stool. Referee Rob Mooney saying seconds out. Second of a potential three rounds about to be underway. Both guys looking pretty good shape. I mean, there's a lot of uh, transitions going on. They're not breathing hard. Nice leg kick, good right, hook. A left hook and a jab for Britt, and there's there double underhook for Tyler Beautiful Wilson. job, same scenario, back right there where we're at. The cage panel's gonna, nope, he, he, can, he can clear that right there. Good job, he's trying to go into mount. Beautiful job in the side control. But Tyler Britt's doing a good job trying to retain at least half guard. Wilson's oh. on the 10 finger yes, choke here. He's got the 10 finger end. choke, is it in deep? Tyler Britt's gotta concede this position to fight the hands. And he is, he's trying to fight the hands. Good job, he lays back. That's a, that's a smart move on the 10 finger choke. It's a double edged sword there when you're fighting that 10 finger choke. The only real way to get out of there is just concede your position. Exactly. If the choke is applied correctly, that is, of course. And Tyler Wilson and guard here just being nasty, grinding those forearms across the face of Tyler Britt, throwing good ground and pound to the body. Got the forearm on the neck, that's very uncomfortable. I think he needs to be more, yeah, I mean, look, hit the body. Hit the body, you know, soften him up. But at the same time, when you go up and you go to hit the body, it leaves room for Tyler Britt to scramble out and try to retain guard to get in a better position. He loves this north-south position. He almost had the north-south choke last time, Hacker, but he's too high on the north-south choke. He's starting to climb low now. now he's getting low. In, and that's that's good. He tapped. North-south choke. And hell of know, a fight. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. And I'm starting to wonder, really, did he tap due to exhaustion? Because, I, I mean, look, man, we'll see a replay here in a minute. I don't think that north-south choke was in all the way. Uh, yeah, I can't tell. It, it seemed like a legitimate choke. You can see Tyler Britt's face start to turn red there. I think it was an actual choke. I couldn't tell because his hands were away from me. I mean, he had a good right here is the replay. He was getting pieced up again. Great takedown by Tyler Wilson. And he does what Tyler Wilson does. Okay, it is tight. Good job by Tyler Wilson. On this north-south choke, he was a little lower, got his shoulders low, yeah. and that was a good job, beautiful job. Good we, submission. We saw some good submission grappling from Tyler Wilson there yep. in that fight. Just, you know, one and a half rounds, we saw Tyler Wilson go for several Kimuras, several north-south chokes, but good defense by Britt as well. A, a great fight here to start the evening off at B2 Fighting Series 143. Guys are chilling, hanging out in the B2 Fighting Series cage here as Lance makes his way in there. Like, come on, man, let's wrap this up. Tyler Wilson wants to go party. Tyler Britt wants to go drink as well. <laughs> We're going to wrap this one up. Here's Lance Green. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee, Rob Mooney, has brought a stop to this fight. One minute and 19 seconds into round number two. Your winner by tap out due to a north-south choke. Out of the blue corner, Tyler Wilson! All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. Day one, same ones been around when the ain't funds. Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one.